good morning YouTubers and welcome back to the David Swordplay channel. Now I'm just going to do a quick video about how I mount the uh, wireless mic into my helmet. Now somebody asked me in the comments when I did the unboxing video for the DJI Mic Mini asked me how I mounted the mic in my helmet. Well, it's uh, quite simple. I use the wireless mic in the Scorpion helmet I have, which I usually use in the winter. And this is it. I think it's an ADX2. Uh, and it's a great helmet. I quite like it. It's a reasonable weight. And of course, it's flip front, which makes mounting... Uh, a mic with a wire on it quite difficult so what I actually did I bought a DJI mic 2 and I found a door catch let me show you that my wife had bought a packet of door catches which has got a magnet on it now you might say well why didn't you use the magnet on the back of the DJI mic 2 I said, well, because I needed it to, when I do interviews, clip it on people, it's quite easy to use a magnet. So what I did is cut this little door frame, uh, door shut magnet, cut it in half to fit the helmet. And then I used some double-sided tape and I attached it, if I can show you, I'll just come a bit closer to the the camera inside there you should be able to see a little silver square and that's where I mount the mic to. Now with the mic to it was quite uncomfortable but usable so when I did recording stuck the mic to in there and did what I had to do and then took it out. But with the new mic mini which is a lot smaller as you can see I can mount that, take the mic, the magnet off the back, and I just drop this into position, like so, and it clips in, and it'll hold inside the helmet. I don't know whether you can see that on the front of the helmet, and it holds position quite well because it only weighs 10 grams. Now, I haven't actually been out to test this yet but as you can see with the mic too it was quite that weighs about 28 grams so if it would hold that it would certainly hold the mic mini so that's what I've done uh, I use that helmet a lot in the winter in my other helmets and I, I, I've got three I use the Aero Commander for touring I found this a good touring helmet, it's comfortable uh, and it works really well. But I've got a Lavalier wired mic in that because I don't need to flip the front up. That works quite well, but we're not really talking about that today. We're talking about how I mount this DJI mic, mini mic in there. And as you can see, I can flip the helmet down and the mic's in position. Uh, and it doesn't get in the way and it's a lot better than the mic too so i'm really looking forward to getting out and testing the uh, the mic mini now the good thing about dji action cameras like the one i'm using this morning this is the action 5 pro you can actually alter the gain on the mic now the only thing you've got to watch out for when you mount your wireless mic in your helmet is that you don't get distortion and fortunately on the Action 4 and the Action 5 Pro you can actually alter the gain of the mic. Now when I'm using this helmet I use about minus 6 gain on this helmet uh, and about minus 7 on this helmet. So I don't know what the mic uh, mini's going to run at at the moment, but I would imagine it's probably going to be about the same. So you don't get distortion when you're talking. 
So it'll be interesting to see how the Mike Mini handles being used in a helmet because it does seem that the quality of the mic is is very very good uh, on normal situations like this. I'm using the Mic 2 this morning because obviously I wanted to move around the Mic Mini. So that's what I use. You know you, you get this little magnet thing from a, a door catch, cut it to fit your helmet and stick it in with the double-sided tape. The only other thing I would say is make sure that you're doing this at room temperature. If you're sticking double-sided tape in anything below 10 degrees, you're going you're gonna to struggle to get it a good grip and leave it for at least 24 hours before you decide to use the helmet so it doesn't fall off. And I've also got this Shark Squall helmet with the lights in, which I sometimes use in the winter uh, when the weather's not so good, as you can see. I'll put the lights on. And there they are. Uh, very handy, and it also has brake lights in, so when the brake lights operate, uh, people can see a lot better. So that's a good uh, helmet. I quite like using that. It's quite difficult to get good audio in this because your uh, your mouse very close to the front of the helmet. So there we go, folks. I hope that's uh, helpful to you. If you like this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next video.